Hi, George here. And today we're going to be doing a major photo retouch here, removing acne on this girl's face. But it actually is not that hard to do. We'll be taking this from this down to this. And I think that works out pretty well. Okay, let's see how this is done. I'm going to start off by taking all these layers over here and deleting all that stuff and getting us right back to the first basic background layer. Okay, so here's our starting position. And let's make a duplicate of our background. Right click and duplicate layer. I like doing that every single time I'm working on any kind of photo retouch, just in case I can always get back to my background as a safety. We can then hide that one. We're done with that one. Now I'll be using several tools to do this, several of our retouch tools and a couple of special tricks in here. If you want to have some more information about how those tools are used with step-by-step -step instructions, I have all of that inside my HTG Photo Coach program. I'll put a link for that in the description and I'll tell you more about that at the end of the video. Now you notice the main thing with the acne is that it has this reddish tint. So a lot of reddish tints are really bad spots in here, but mostly just reddish tint. So we can bring down that red tint and make things look a lot better. And that's our first step in here. And for that, we'll be using an adjustment layer. Go up to layer, come down to new adjustment layer. And you want the hue saturation right there. Where it says use previous layer, check that, choose OK. Now in here, we can come in and we can set this for a specific channel. We'll do the reds channel. And you can get even more specific with this. Come down here and click on the eyedropper tool. This is your color picker. And you can come into the basic red area around here. Don't click in the very middle, just click in this red area around, kind of the red tint area. And that then limits the adjustment to just that area. Now that's right down here. If I push this way to the side, you see how the bottom slider kind of moves over, the color moves over. So the original color is up here and the color it's going to be changed to is down here. It's the bottom one. Let's just put this back to zero again. Now I want to limit this. I don't want to have a wide range. So I'll pull these two in just a little bit. This limits that to a tighter color. And this is your fade off on that. I'll bring these in as well. This just helps to kind of contain things. There we go. And now we have that contained. Let's come in here and I'm going to adjust the hue a little bit. Let's go to the right just a touch. And just look at the red part of this. Ignore everything else. Just look at the red part of that. That's all I care about here is that red area. And over in here, that's, that's doing pretty well. It's getting rid of a lot of that. Notice that her skin's kind of going gray. We're losing a lot of that red. I think we can get it even more confined here by pulling these in further. There's less of a drop off on the rest of her skin tone. So we're just getting rid of just that specific red color in there. I think I'll just stretch that out. I can make this a bit wider that way. Not a whole lot wider, but a bit wider. We can then come here and play around these controls a little bit and Really minimize that red as much as we can. There we go. I think that's pretty good. And right there. Now this, of course, these settings will be different for different photographs, but this takes out a lot of that. Okay, we'll close that down. Now I want to make sure we're not changing red anyplace else. So go up to the layer mask that's on the adjustment layer right here. Notice that it's selected that light blue outline. Let's grab our black color here and the paintbrush. We want a soft edge brush. And that's pretty good size, that's 100 pixels right now. And I'm going to come in and just paint right along her jawline right here. And notice that I'm getting a black line up there. So this is giving us a mask and it's gonna be controlling that so we're not getting any of that color shift where I'm painting. Now take your time on this, this is kind of a delicate operation. You don't wanna to be too far out and you don't wanna overlap into her face at all. What we wanna do is just to outline her face so we're only doing our color adjustment in there and we'll come in here with the hair and do the hair kind of like that there we go and up and over the ear here and then back down again to the jawline so now I made an outline around the face we also want to come in a bit on the lips I'm going to bring my brush size down that's the left square bracket key Come in on the lips. We don't want to be losing the redness in the lips. And right here, bottom of the nose, a little bit right there. Keep that. Looks pretty good. And maybe over here in the ear a little bit. Just keep some of that red tone in the ear. Okay, that looks good. Now hold the Alt key down and click on the layer mask. That brings just the layer mask up. Now I can see where we did our painting in here. I'm going to come in now and just fill the rest of this in with that black. That's the ear right in there. And for the outside area, I'll bring my brush size up. That's the right square bracket key. And I think I'll make my brush a hard brush instead of a soft brush. So a hard brush, 
bring us up to let's say 200 so it's a good size hard brush and we'll just come right in over that edge now don't go up into the face area you just want to fill in the area out here with solid black so work carefully around there and take your time when you're in closer to the face take a little more time a little more care as you move out from the face of course you have a lot of room there to work around so you can be a little faster everywhere else and just cleaning up this mask there we go get the rest of this wiped out here very quickly and we now have a mask that just covers just the face and then click on the picture again and there we go so we've brought the red down using this mask up here and the red is only coming down in just the face area now let's get into some regular photo retouch work go up to our tools right here this is the healing brush tool you have the healing brush and the spot healing brush i'll start with the spot healing brush this is a size of 70 pixels looks pretty good and the brush there is soft edge brush i have sample all layers selected and the reason for that is i'll be putting this on a new layer up here click on this layer here Let's make a new layer. There we go. So that all my adjustments will be on this layer. I won't be touching this layer. And if we sample all layers, I'll be able to sample from this layer down here. Okay, let's now come in here and just click on a spot and then let Photoshop Elements go in and take out that blemish. And this will take care of most of the areas. It won't fix everything, but it will fix most of it. So we'll go through here, we'll do this. I'll go fairly fast on this video. I'm doing a pretty good job here. Of course, the more time you take, the more careful you are, the better the results are going to be. Some areas may not work with this. It depends on the area. And we'll come around here and already it's looking pretty close, pretty good. Sometimes this tool will not do a good job and sometimes it just may need some help. Our next option, if you get this all done here, that's looking pretty good. The next option over here is the Healing Brush tool. And with this one, you find a spot you want to copy from, like right here, I'll hold the Alt key down and click like that. And I can bring it over here and just paint over here from that spot. And Photoshop Elements goes in and adjusts the values to match. And there's kind of a brownish tint in here. Let's see if we can get that out of here with this. And that works out pretty good. This is a little brownish over in here. I don't really like that brownish too much. So for that one, let's go up here to the regular clone stamp tool. And this one is copied directly. It's not going to try to adjust anything, which means if I'm copying from an area that has less brownishness in it, I'll get that up there and that takes care of that one. So it's a process now of just going through and fixing all the areas and making it as clean as possible. Notice I have the opacity here set on 23%. So I can come in and just brush in a few times and build up and not have this go too fast and end up just showing everything, which you don't really want to have. You don't want to see your repairs. You want to have just a nice clean repair job. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Now she's kind of washed out, but we can fix that. This is one of the reasons why we made this layer mask up here. So it's just working on the face. Let's go up to the guided edit and correct skin tone. Click on that. And in here, you click into your skin tone you want to have fixed, click into here. And then Photoshop Elements goes in and gives us more of a regular flesh tone. So put back in some of the red in here. I think I want a bit more tan on that. We'll just boost the tan a little bit, maybe boost the blush a little bit. See how that's looking. You can go real far if you wanted to get the whole effect in here. So there's very low on the blush here. It's real high, a lot of red in that, see that? What I'm doing is I'm now comparing the colors in here to the color of the ear, which is kind of my control color and the color of the neck down here. And I want to get closer to those. And I think that is looking pretty good. Or I come down here, click on Next and In Advanced. And we're back here again. And there's our finish. Notice that when we did that repair in the Guided Edit, it gave us a new layer up here for the Guided Edit. So I can hide these things. And we can now hide that. There's the original. And here's our repair. Original and the repair. And I think this works out pretty well. Now, if you want to get more information and written step-by-step -step instructions on how to use these different tools that I used here, so you can really see what these tools can do, we just kind of briefly touched on them in this demonstration. You can get all of that in my HTG Photo Coach program for Photoshop Elements. It's a great tool, very popular. 
and I'll put a link for that in the description. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done that already, and I'll see you next time.